I need what some drum rolling. I need some drum rolling. This okay. is serious. Okay. So y'all, y'all put your hands together. Okay. Y'all get ready together. to introduce okay. the one and only, the, one and the 2022 only. Miss yeah. American Team, Washington D.C. Lauren Williams. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Something had happened, yeah. yeah. You had to rewind that thing right quick. Hi. <laughs> Hi, beautiful. Welcome to the party. Hi. I'm so excited to be here. Yes. I'm excited to, to have party. you. So first of all, the reason I did that is because it's a big deal to have as much poise as you, to be smart as you, to be sharp as you, to be dedicated as you, and to see that thing through and have that banner. It means something. It does. Everybody don't have that banner. So that's why I had to rewind that thing and give you all your accolades up front. So welcome to our Spotlight Over the City. Man, we, we glad to have you aboard. Yes, Lauren. Hello, beautiful. Thank you so much for being a part of our Spotlight family. Of course, I have been knowing um, about you and... Uh, and your journey for a long time. I'm very proud of you. You have some amazing parents. Um, she is one of two. She's a twin. Yeah. She has an amazingly beautiful sister. They're identical twins, actually. I, wow. I still don't know exactly. Unless she's wearing the crown. I don't know. So which you could have faked them out. You could have bought your sister and we went in. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, Lauren, tell us about your journey. Tell us about, you know, how you got on this path um, for Miss America Teen and, and some of the, you know, the highs and the lows of being in that lane and how does it impact school well um first things first i in um june of 2022 it was kind of so spontaneous i decided hey maybe i might want to um compete in this pageant and so i signed up a day before for um what was previously known as miss dc's outstanding teen uh, not knowing anything of it so i signed up this was my first time competing for the organization wow. and i ended up winning the pageant but at the time i only competed with probably two other girls that i'm still really close with oh. and then um, a month later or two months later in august i went to go compete for what it's now known as Miss America's Teen um, in Texas. And that was so exciting because I had such a short amount of time and I was still so new to pageantry. And I went and I had my talent. I did an original spoken word, which um, oh. for anybody who knows anything about pageants or Miss America, that's not something that's commonly right. done for pageants. So I went and I did that. I, to be honest, I was a little nervous, but I went in and I tried to stay really confident and I ended up getting first runner up. Wow. <laughs> Y'all give it up for my girl. That is so dope. I got goosebumps. Oh my I love gosh. it. I love so it. I was first winner up in the nation and was able to receive over fifty thousand dollars in scholarships from. Yeah, you gotta give it up for the bag. Give it up for the bag. Yes. You gotta get to the bag. Sometimes pay to be smart, don't it? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> yep, so now after the competition, I just came home and I worked on my social impact initiative called The Heart Project, where we focus on providing mental health resources through the arts. And right now, it's been a year later, and I'm getting ready to give up my title to the next girl to become Miss, Miss DC's teen. You're so. going to give up your title? So you can only have it for? <laughs> for a year. For a year. Yeah. Gotcha. Wow. So, okay. So then how does this work when you say you have to give up your crown to the next incoming one? Like, what's the next step for you? Well, I'm going off to college. Thanks to the um, Miss America organization, I'm going to go to the University of Alabama on a full ride. Hey. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Black so girl magic. I'm very excited um, just to start that new chapter and being able to do it with girls and sisterhoods that I was able to make through this organization. Like, my three roommates are people I met through the pageant, so I'm really, really? excited. Yeah. That is really dope. Wow. <laughs> Man, God just puts things together just the way they're supposed to be. And I'm just so very, very, so proud. I'm yeah, I hear your mind, right? I'm, I didn't mean to be, I'm sorry. It's okay. I, I just, I'm listening to your, your thinking, and you're young, right? And so you say, we're getting ready to start this situation, blah, blah, blah. And so you're so sure about it, right? You seem so confident and so matter-of-factish, right? Where do you get the drive and the initiative to even start these type of situations at such a young age? I think for me, I wasn't more about just being sure, but I kind of got to, especially with the pandemic, that hit me really hard emotionally and mentally. And coming out of it, I really became someone who really wanted to just dip her toe in everything and try as many different things 
as I could. So that was kind of why I wanted to do pageants, you know, was to, yeah. I had to learn not to fear the unknown and to try new things. We all do. And we all do. Yes. Yeah, that's something you don't outgrow. It's something you really have to learn or you will be that person until you pass. So. And yeah, how, how did you tackle the fear of the unknown? Like, did you have, like, some sort of technique? Like, that is, a, is something that so many young people face, even yeah, older when, people. When you first got into pageantry, how did you get past that fear? Well, another thing that I struggle with a lot is anxiety. Mm -hmm. And uh -huh. that's a huge thing that I talk about with my platform is I, I have anxiety. And something that I really taught me about, you know, being grounded was taking time for yourself to address, hey, this is real, this is not. And address your feelings, you know, they're valid. And so it's okay to be scared. It's okay to be nervous. But to let that fear and nervousness take over your life is something that, you know, you have to learn early that you can't let it stop you. So you've well, been here before. You must have learned it in your past life. And now, because you ain't but six. <laughs> so you're talking about, you yeah, something. you got to learn that. Like, you see old and stuff. Like, you got to learn that. <laughs> when when you I learn that at three. You, <laughs> <laughs> this you young, lady young lady is so well spoken. Oh, thank you're you. so <laughs> just poised. Just, you are, you are really, to me, like a poster child for what other young people should look up and strive to be like. Black excellence. This is what we yeah. look for, right? This is what we thrive off of. This is why we celebrate you um, because you guys are our future. We old. Like, we're not doing nothing new. I'm and not so, old. You, we, we old. <laughs> and so you guys are the young people. This young man, you, y'all are our future. So everything you do, we should celebrate it. And so that's why I made it my business to back it up because it's really important what you're doing. And I don't want you to take it lightly because you're young. Yeah. It's a big deal what you're doing right now because some things you guys doing we won't do, can't do, and not even interested. That's Let's be right. honest. When you get old, you don't get interested in certain things. We had your third and fourth kid. You don't even rate them the same. It's just a little different. You get a little old, a little tired. That's and so, true. you know, I'm just honest about it. A lot of people won't speak on that. But I say that to say you're young, you're vibrant, you have the energy. Push, grab your friends, unite, do as much as you can because you guys matter. You're making a difference, not you us. You are you making guys a make difference. difference. And so what advice, Lauren, do you have for younger people um, who, who are interested in being in that same lane, younger girls who want to become the next Miss District of Columbia yeah. outstanding team. What's your advice? Well, the best advice that I probably could give is to just go for it. I signed up the day before the pageant and I didn't even have a talent. And then I went with the same exact talent that I had and was able to get first runner up. So um, just don't let the fear of not knowing or the fear of failure even stop you from being amazing. And on that point, um, we actually have our pageant coming up in July. So if you or anyone you know is a young girl in, who lives in DC or attends school in DC, who between the ages of 13 to 18, who might want to buy for the title of Miss DC's Outstanding Teen, um, make sure to follow me on Instagram and shoot me a DM at Miss America's Teen DC. I love this. I um, love we do it. have a question from one of our viewers. It says, at what age should we concentrate on our health and wellness if, we, if they want to pursue this journey? Like at what age is, you know, what age did you start focusing on your health and wellness? Um, I think more towards middle school. So I, I would say as early as you can identify, um, as you when you feel like you're in a space to identify, maybe this is something I should take priority about. Or you have an extra layer of responsibility. I think that's when my anxiety really started was mm -hmm. when I realized, hey, I'm, I'm entering a new phase. I'm getting ready to go to high school and there are more things on my shoulders. So I knew that if I was going to be able to take that on, I had to, you know, prioritize things that were important to me, like hanging out with my friends and my family and um, just taking time for myself. I so love it. your parents are amazing. <laughs> I had to just shout out your parents <laughs> because your parents are amazing. They did a great job in sewing into you. But I got a real quick question. They throwing up little gang signs and stuff. So um, <laughs> before they kick us out of here, I'll say this. You have one hour. You riding wherever you riding with whoever you riding with. And you can listen to one artist. Um, it can be a group or it can be an artist. Who are you listening to? You can't take them out once you put them in for the whole ride. One who, hour. Who you want to hear? One hour. Um, I, that's a hard one. <laughs> You're um, in a great mood. You're in a great I, mood. I mean, you're feeling wonderful, right? I might have to listen to my namesake, Lauren Hill. Yeah. Oh, man. Give it up for Lauren Hill. Yes. Let me tell you. That's you can't go wrong with Lauren Hill. You could go up and back and go up and go back and go back again. This Education yeah. is one of my favorite albums. Yeah. 
that's probably I one of our that. own. Yeah. That so yeah, the, that's a dope. I love, that's, that's a dope. One of the dopest albums. It is. It is. Well, Lauren, I just want to say. Thank you, first of all, for your yes, for being a part of Spotlight Over the City's family. Now, you you know, you can't get rid of us. You know, we, we're cheering for you for whatever it is that's next for you. Mm-hmm. And um, You ever thank- been in a pageant? Well, you know, not official. Not really. Not official. Nothing close. So, did Parkdale have pageants? <laughs> did they have anything like that going on in your school? I don't know. I was know. just curious. I was so ratchet in high school. <laughs> I don't know. My so, that's my whole might, point. My I knew you wasn't. I know. I don't know. <laughs> so, you see how you exceed us? <laughs> we just failed here. I don't know how we got here, but <laughs> you exceed us already. So, I'm going to call you and get some pointers Hallie and on Tommy how we were the good up. kids at Parkdale. I was probably not. I was one of the Yeah, Hallie side. was one of the great guys. Still is. <laughs> so, y'all put your hands together. Wait, wait, wait. Before we go, y'all make sure y'all can follow her. Make how sure do, they can, how, how can people follow, follow you on all your social media my, platforms. All of my social media is Miss America's Teen DC and to follow the organization at Miss America um, Miss America's Teen and then you can also follow our Miss organization for anybody who's in the older age who might decide to compete at Miss America DC. Oh, okay. wait, how, how, what's the cutoff point? Because I see her over here getting happy. You see what's, me getting excited, right? Well, what's we the cutoff? Actually, the organization actually just category? extended the age limit to 20... Oh. So y'all don't have like a senior citizens division or nothing close no, to that but there AARP are. section, nothing like that. No. There are the, um, different organizations for older um, ages who you might think it's never too late to like show you stuff. Lauren, don't, don't try to answer his question. But it's question. true. It's He's never too late don't to step worry about it. Oh, Don't you worry about it. She just, jabs she at just me. stepped over the line. She's trying to get back young, but don't worry about it. They That's don't have right. senior citizens pageants, cutie pie. But you okay. cute, though. So y'all give it, y'all, give, y'all put your hands together for my baby right here because, woo, she Lauren is lit, Williams. y'all. Y'all give it up. We'll be right back with our next guest. Spotlight over the city. Spotlight over the city.